Hey everybody. So chances are if you're watching this video you might have one of these HP TouchSmart systems or maybe you don't and you're just interested. So these HP TouchSmart PCs have a hidden USB port on them that you probably didn't know about. And that's because these things typically come with a wireless keyboard and mouse from the factory and oftentimes over the years it quits working or it gets trash whatever gets replaced and perhaps you might think that the wireless connection for that keyboard and mouse was internally to the computer but that's actually not the case so this TouchSmart is a model 610 and I think a lot of the TouchSmarts have a very similar design to this so if we spin this around and look at the back which I actually go the other way because I want to show you the ports on the side so you have these two USB ports right here and the owner of this machine has a looks to be a USB receiver for possibly a keyboard and mouse plugged in right there but when we turn this thing around to the back you'll see we have additional USB ports right there and let me go ahead and turn this thing up a little bit so you can see we have four USB 2 ports here got this Ethernet connection here and audio connections there your touch smart may be different than this but this one in particular if you look down there is another USB connection and as you can see this here is the USB receiver for the factory included keyboard and mouse that came with this touch smart and I'm willing to bet that the owner of this machine no longer has that keyboard and mouse so therefore in that case what we could do is we could remove this USB connection or this USB device wireless receiver and you can plug it in right inside there so for example I now have that USB receiver plugged into the back so what that does is that frees up a USB port on the front or the side rather so chances are you may not have noticed that USB connection in the back of your touch mark but that's actually for the factory included wireless keyboard and mouse and in the case that you no longer have that wireless keyboard and mouse you could pull that receiver out and replace it with a receiver for a new wireless keyboard and mouse so anyways hopefully it's helpful hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching